Hello everyone, I am Alex and I will make some tutorials about JavaFX and things you have to know if you are a JavaFX developer. I know that there are a lot of uh, tutorials out there, but I will be more specific and show you some helpful helpful things. So today I'm going to start with Gluon Sen Builder, which is a must. Um, software you have to use if you are a JavaFX developer. Um, this is version uh, 8.3 and it is the most recent version and I highly recommend that you download this. So let's start. Here on the top left corner we can see every um, element that it is in JavaFX by default. Let's view it as a list. Here on the top uh, are some costume elements I have implemented. As we scroll down, we can see all the elements from JavaFX library. If we go here on the JAR FXML manager, you can see that I have imported some costume uh, libraries. You can import how much libraries you want as jar files or fxmls fxmls files you can add them from repositories and things like that so you can see here on the top the items that i have added now i'm gonna load a document that I have created from some previous tutorial and I'm gonna open it with Sen Builder. Okay, as you can see here, we have the view. Here are the elements uh, from the hierarchy. For example, I have some buttons here. I can uh, drag the button and drop it uh, into another area. If I press Ctrl Z, I undo the change that I have done. You can drag and drop elements here and do things like that. Okay, let's go on the controller. As you can see here on the controller, you can set the controller class for the fxml file. I want to show you how it looks. Here it is, the file that we have made here. It is, you can look here as code. You can see that it is a special version of XML and it has an HTML or XML-like, um, you see, layout. You can edit the code right from here. You can write what you want or uh, you can build the code from the Sen Builder. But because the Sen Builder is limited, some things have to be done here into the fxml code all right as you can see here uh, if i want i can set the controller class what it is the controller class the controller class it is a java file that uh, we it is responsible for the fxml file and uh, from it, we load the fxml file into the Java code. Here, I have, this is the controller class. If you see closely, you can see that it is extending border pane. Let me check something. Okay. You can see that it is extending border pane. Why I have done that? You can see that I have used fx root construct and the root it is the a border pane that's why i'm extending border pane i have done that because i want to use this controller multiple times i want to create multiple instances of this controller and use it multiple times on uh, the application if you <clears throat> if you don't want to do that you set manually a controller uh, here and you don't use fx root const construct okay let's go on the code of the fxml here you can see the fx root which is a border pane yes okay here 
down uh, are the elements look here if I check this button here better let me explain you here on the right you can see the inspector if we check an element and uh, we go on the first here on the properties we can change all the properties of the element almost everything almost not everything if you don't understand something from here for example what it is opacity you can click here it will open the default browser and take you to the Java FX um, Java doc and you can see here what this method is doing very well now we go on the layout here you can change all the properties that have to do with the layout of this specific node into the parent that it is into here the button is into a horizontal box okay you can change all the properties from here preferred width preferred height max width minimum width the padding which is the area from the border until here and the margin which is the area outside of the border yes outside of the border uh, pretty much like uh, you are doing with CSS and HTML very well here you can change translate X translate uh, Z and other things and here on the code section you can set an ID for the element why I am doing that if I set the ID from here you can see in the controller I can do whatever I want with that element I can set uh, an action to do I can set it to do an action for example here it is starting the speech recognizer okay or from here I can set uh, the name of the action method and the methods that have to do listeners that have to do with drag and drop with keyboard listeners mouse listeners uh, rotation listeners swipe listeners um, these are for um, touch events like for mobiles which have a touch touch screen uh, touch events here and zoom events 